Hi, and welcome to the section of the UI of Virialize Operations Manager. In this section, we're going to have a look at the whole UI of Virialize Operations Manager. This includes the home page, the alert section, the environment section, the content section, and the administration section. All these different areas will show you what's in them, how to browse to it, where things are, so that you can quickly and easily locate what you're looking for. The first video, the home page. In this video, we're going to take a close look at Virilize Operations Manager homepage, have a look around, see how to change dashboards, and how to cycle dashboards if we want to send them on a loop so we can put them on a display screen. First, we browse to our Virilize Operations Manager web portal and we log in. Here, we'll log in with the local admin, which would be the first account that you would have to log into this after setting up. And the first page we see is our home page. Now the home page contains all the dashboards. These are the dashboards that we're allowed to see, as well as the dashboards that we want to see. On the left hand pane here, we can see our navigation. So we've got our home, which we're on, our alerts, environment, content, and administration. And we can also see the same down here. Now this top row here, is something we can see no matter where we are in Virilize Operations Manager, and this navigation pane down here will change depending on the screen that we're on. Now we can browse our dashboards. This home page is the default as of 6.3, but before 6.3, the default would have been the recommendations page, which is very similar to the old 5.x VROPS. Now we can navigate our dashboards from scrolling scroll buttons on the left and on the right but we can also use our dashboard list which is a much easier way to get the dashboard that you want especially if you've got quite a lot of them now I can select dashboards and it will go straight to those dashboards now if we want to set the recommended or the default dashboard that we want to see we actually go up to our actions pane here we can see set default so I can set this as my default meaning next time that I log in that's the first page that I want to see so generally you would make this something important something that you would want to be seeing as soon as you log in and that's what you make it now as we can also see is that we have the ability and that's if you've got the permissions to create and edit and delete dashboards from the home page as well that will take you straight to those sections you can also remove the dashboard from your menu you might be given dashboards that you don't want to see and you can remove them to make it less cluttered. Now we can, what we can also do is set up a rotation, an auto switch, so it can loop through dashboards. Here, I'm just going to loop through three of them. I'll select the vSAN troubleshooting, change it to 10 seconds. I might make it five actually. And we go to heat map. We go to the heat map mode. We turn that on make that five as well and we go to the vSAN entity usage which is this next one we'll turn that on as well make that five and then we loop back to this troubleshooting so that will make a loop and it should cycle between these three we hit save we have to refresh the browser for that to take effect now this dashboard here should switch to the troubleshooting one after five seconds. Now it should switch to the heat map one um, without me having to click on it or have the mouse on it and this keeps your browser open. Now this is really good too for large monitoring screens in Knox or on an executive office and it just allows it to loop through and stay on certain pages to show everyone what's happening um, related to what they need to see. Now on the home page too, is we can see these no matter which page we're in, but I'll cover them here anyway, is our collection notifications. So these has been in here since version 6.3, and that allows us to see that there's no issues with our data collections. We can also see our admin. Now we can log out here, or we can go to our user preferences. Now this shows us we can change our color scheme, and we can change um, our synchronized time as well as um, 
the amount of metrics to show. I'll just leave this as default. And that's it for the home page. In this video, we learnt about the home page, what we can do in it, what we can see in it, how we can arrange it.